What's up, everybody? Another super busy day. I'm recording this um, on Sunday. Sundays are historically my busiest days at my office. Um, so I do want to just keep my volume down a bit. But we are ready to play Wordle for Monday, April 22, 2024. Uh, in uh, continuing my challenge of using um, words that begin and end with the same letter in alphabetical order, uh, today we're going to do comic. Okay, so let's try comic and see how it does. Nothing, okay? Let's actually do slate. Oh, wow, a four plus one on scramble. That's actually pretty good. Um, laser would be interesting for placement for some crazy reason through the grapevine. Um, I think I might remember people saying that it doesn't take laser, but leash. Oh, no, I'm not going to do leash. That would be silly. We don't have the A in the middle. Um, I'm basically looking for my four plus one on scramble. I mean, it could reuse one of those letters, but I don't think it will. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. I was also looking at blase, but the A is again not in the middle. So let's see here. We're not going to use a Q. I don't know about a W. Huh, it would be it would be Wales though. So, hello to my UK brethren. If any of you are from Wales, guess what? Wales would have fit perfectly. Um, but I just don't know if it would take that. Easel though. Oh, so I was wrong. It could be we could be repeating uh, one of the letters. Uh, did Art finally figure this out and get easel in three? No, but I'll take the four because, oh my gosh, is it laser? Whoa. I guess it is. Is it laser? Wow. Okay. So don't always listen to what you hear through the grapevine. <laughs> Darn, that could have been a really sweet three, but easel still was not a terrible guess and it did get me I mean it handed me laser but yeah that's really interesting um I think we did a good job considering we came out with an empty hand on comic I think we still did a pretty good job um so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed do put your results in just as a reminder this is the format that you need so that you can be part of this wordle competition and um do check the description I'll have the next day's word um I think it's dread and if I'm wrong I'll post edit and put in the correct word, but I think it might be dread. It could be something else though. <laughs> so just see what's on the screen. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another round of Oidle. What's up, everybody? We're ready for another round of strands. And um, yeah, we're playing it from Monday, April 22nd. Uh, We've done, done pretty good recently. Um, the c c categories were sort of self-explanatory. Um, here we have character class. Hmm. So it could be a class of characters, for instance, like um, characters on a keyboard. Um, could involve maybe punctuation marks or grammar. So you might look for a hyphen or the word punctuation. Uh, but I don't see the P for punctuation, even though it sort of looks like that. Um, dash would be a punctuation mark. Uh, this probably is a wild goose chase. What's this ass ass doing at the bottom of the screen? <laughs> That's kind of funny. You could form a word from that. Assassin. Hmm. Oh, so I was not doing the right character. This could be like 
characters in a acting class or basically just characters that you might find in, in, in a movie or something. So there's like the assassin. Oh, that's probably it. That shuts off the bottom. So we are looking at a left to right or right to left Spain gram, aren't we? Um, I'm not sure where it would be or what it is, but let's see if we can get some more characters. We've got the assassin for sure. I mean, I feel really good about that. Plus it's a nice long one. Ooh, and then I see in the upper right corner a knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. Yeah, that's reasonable. So now our spangram could either begin with E-Y-E or end with E-Y-E. Hmm, there's Hunter. Is that a character, a hunter? Maybe. Well, if it were, then now we are down to the E and the Y. Probably would end in Y. And I think I see it, but it's, I'm not sure but if, if it would make, if it's just, a, no, it has to be the span ground because it is going from left to right. Fantasy, though? I don't know why an assassin would be fantasy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, sort of, it sort of makes sense, but not really. Is, is it fantasy? Okay. So I don't really get that, but then you've got your assassin, you've got your knight. These are all real things, though. I don't know why they're fantasy. A hunter? Okay, this is more fantasy. You've got your sorcerer. That's cool. Um, what's going on up here? Rogue? Okay. And I need two more. Ah. Uh, What the heck is going on here? Okay. Bard? The Bard is a poet. And then you'd be left with, not Egan, but Mage or Madge, which I haven't heard before, but I can't see any other way to split this up. We have to, it's gotta be two words, so okay. And then mage? Okay. Oof, that was weird. I don't get that, guys. The only one, as far as I am concerned, that is truly fantasy would be the sorcerer. You guys need to tell me what either mage or mage is. I'm assuming it's mage. Is it something dealing with magic? And then everything else there, a bard, a knight, a rogue? I, I feel like those could all be real characters. So once again, I'm sure I'm overthinking it. I'm sure you guys will set me straight. Nevertheless, I think it's a perfect score. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strength. What's up, everybody? We're ready for um, another round of connections. We're going to do it for Monday, April 22nd. Um, hold on tight because, no, sadly, not at the end of this video. But hold on tight for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we're going to get those results in, okay? Um, I've got a nice uh, window Monday morning. Um, and I'll really work hard. And maybe we'll actually get it up to the first 20 days of April, okay? Just keep in mind then the top score would be 190 uh, because unfortunately we did agree to throw away um, day one, okay? Remember, it seems like a, a, a year ago, but it was with those crazy images, okay? Let's read off the words. We've got shadow, dark, pool, chum, bud, whiskers, uh, dank, scruff, kitty, pot, mate, musty, fuzz, cold, fun, and pal. This looks very straightforward. These are just um, cute ways to address a friend. Slang for friend, but I think they're also cute. Something's dark. Um, these are just things that kind of give me a sense of like sort of slightly like a scary place. It could be dark. It could be dank. It could be musty. It's not very scary. Um, so we have to get uh, do a little bit better trying to figure out if this is a category, what it really is. Oh, and cold. Hmm. Dark, dank, musty, and cold. That sounds like a, um, like a, oh, like a castle prison. Yeah. 
characteristics of a castle prism. It's a little too specific, but it's fine. I, I, I want to hustle here because I've got so many students that are in the wing. Adjectives for basement. I'll let you guys decide. I'm going to collect the point for that because I feel like every single one of those four words could easily um, apply to a, uh, a castle dungeon, which I think is even more descriptive. Oh, I said castle prison. Shoot. I kind of meant the dungeon. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you guys want to dock me half a point, be my guess, but I'm going to assume a full point for that. Um, my wife doesn't like it when I'm fully shaved. She prefers a nice five o'clock shadow, a little bit of fuzz, whiskers, scruff. These all refer to um, having a little bit of facial hair, just a little bit. Stubble. Once again, these purples are so easy. Uh, you guys are going to see this immediately. Um, the fund totally gives it away. They needed something better than fun to make it harder. Um, but these would all be just sources for money. Okay, collection of money. Boom. Done. Oh, guys, wow. Uh, we're having just an unbelievable month. And as long as I don't stumble, um, I think I could be right up there in the top 10. Um, I don't think I'm going to be anywhere as close to Aranya because he consistently gets the 10s and like maybe once a week we'll get a 9. So he's going to have an incredibly devastatingly high average. Um, but I, I think I might be somewhere with an average around an 8, which is great. Um, again, I've had a string of 10s, but unfortunately that 2 that I had earlier in the month absolutely annihilated the score. Because if you think about it, that's just like 8 points lost from someone who is getting close to perfect scores. So but that's okay. Um, we're having fun as we always do. And um, uh, again, as long as she doesn't include the pop culture, I am going to be doing very well. Um, but as soon as she does, then I am going to sink, plummet, and disintegrate. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Connections.